So if you want to save the environment, the best thing that you can do right now is to program in C. So I came across this very interesting research paper, and in the paper, they discussed the power efficiencies of 27 different programming languages. So they took some compiled languages like C and C++ and Fortran, some interpreted languages like Python and JavaScript, and some VM languages like Java and C Sharp. And they used this thing called the CLPG, which is the Programming Languages Benchmark Game, and basically that has an implementation of all these algorithms in every different language, and it implements it to the best and most efficient of each language's ability. So with doing this, they wanted to really answer a couple of questions. The first thing they want to answer was looking at this equation that is the total energy equals power times execution time. So if we look at that equation, it might seem to be true. However, spoiler alert, that's not the case. So what they did, they ran a benchmark for all these different languages. So it should come as no surprise that overall compiled languages did much better than interpreted languages when it came to energy, execution time, and memory. Now in particular, C was at the top for most of the benchmarks, which might not also be a surprise. However, what is interesting is going back to that equation. So you would assume that simply decreasing execution time will decrease total amount of energy used. That was not the case with all these programming languages. With certain languages like Fortran, it took a lot longer to execute than C. However, the total amount of energy used was a little bit less than C. And I should mention, they measure energy used by using this component within the Intel chip to measure the amount of joules as far as energy. Um, they go into much detail, they did that in the article, so definitely check that out. But overall, like I said, it's not proportional. So power is not this constant that, you know, that stays the same and simply changing execution time has the effect on the energy. There's a lot of other different variables that could go into play. Now, before everyone drops their program language and switches to C, there is a little caveat to this whole thing, and that is every scenario is different. So when it came to dealing with strings and uh, regular expressions, interpreted languages like Python and JavaScript were actually more energy efficient than compiled languages like C, C++, and Fortran. Now, this is only a minute case, but you know, that shows that there are scenarios where compiled languages aren't always the most energy efficient. So obviously, if every programmer were to start using C, it would not probably have any noticeable effect on the greenhouse gases or the global warming that we're facing. However, it would be interesting to see what effect that could have on your electricity bill at the end of the month. Maybe it'll be a little bit less? Who knows? So guys, this has been a quick look at how you can save the environment by using the C program language. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Definitely check out the article. I'll post it in the description, give that a read. Share this video with someone who does not program in C and you want them to program in C, so definitely let them know. And go and hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.